welcome back. In the previous part, we found the Lost Boy. All is well in the world. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen at all. There's not an ill wind blowing from the east. No, 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 everything's fine. So let's carry on touring the city. There are fish and chips. Uh, Layla. Please try one of our sandwiches. They're extra healthy and come with a side of vegetables. My brother likes greasy junk food, but I prefer our more healthy options. I prefer the greasy junk food. No. Please try one of our sandwiches. They're extra healthy. I can't shake the feeling that there are more military personnel running around today than usual. Eh, maybe I'm just overthinking things. Maybe. Since this morning, I've seen a few different groups of Heimdall military police on patrol. More so than usual. Eh, maybe I'm just overthinking things. I'll have some fish and chips. Always nice to have some fish and chips, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. Weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, the plan was to meet in the evening and go to the museum together. Knowing them, they probably just lost. How strange. I hope they contact us soon. Indeed. Wonder where they could be. It's not like my husband to be late. I wonder where he could have gotten off to. Uh, musical, may, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe a musical performance. Maybe. It's not like my husband to be late. Maybe got not. We spoke to you, have it way? Yes. Should we get you? Hey, tomorrow's the start of the summer festival. Princess Alfin will be making her social debut this year, right? <laughs> I have to say, I'm quite excited. Am I? It's been a long road getting from there to here. Time coming, thanks to the civil war and all, but now Princess Alfin can finally make her debut. <laughs> I have to say, I'm quite excited. Yes, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Because it's all going to be fun and games. Yay! Nothing will possibly go wrong. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I think we all know something's coming. Either those who have already played the game know something's coming, or those of us playing the game know something's coming. Seems like Governor Regnitz is pretty busy. He's been taking a lot of business trips re recently. That works. He used to come here and order coffee all the time. Now I'm kind of sad. The governor is a big fan of our coffee. Blech. But it seems like he's been busy lately. Kind of makes me sad. Yeah. Good co-op. Heck hey. Stupid flowers. Who puts flowers there? Hello, everyone. You are actually secretly contacted by the military regarding a search for hostiles. I heard that martial law might be actually uh, be declared. With what happened yesterday, we decided to fully cooperate. Summer festival starts tomorrow. Counting on you to keep the peace, everyone. Yes, please leave it to us. You always just say yes without giving it a second thought. But I suppose we'll do everything we can, nevertheless. What will happen tomorrow with the summer festival? Good luck, everyone. And thank you. Yeah. We'll be holding events during the Summer Festival, which starts tomorrow. We'll have events for small children, too. Please join us then. Alright, bit harsh. We'll be holding events during the Summer Festival, which starts tomorrow. We'll get small children. Please join us then. Speaking of small children, did you find a copy of Woo Baby? No? Whoa. Run 9 Chancellor Speech Log 06 with illustrations. Wow, there are so many pictures of Chancellor Osborne. This is so cool! Um, Kakoa. That's not a picture book, it's a gossip book. Yeah, that's fine. She's gonna buy it. Chancellor Osborne is so cool. Really? No, I don't see it. To be honest, I, I, this is the thing. It's one of those things similar to like Scarecrow and Ash in the beginning, that sort of stuff, where it's like, I don't like them, but I love them. Their, their, their stories are interesting, I want to know more about them, etc, etc, etc. I guess I'll get Prince Cedric's picture book. Though Governor General Rufus is nice too. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Propaganda it is. It is. If books are knowledge, the bookstores are compilations of knowledge. Depends on the bookstore. Thus, it is our mission to provide our customers with the right books. Hmm. What should we do for our next special section? Woo Baby. Maybe a summer festival special. Uh, and maybe we can add a monthly featured section. <laughs> I'd have to think about it. Where's Woo Baby? Give me Woo Baby. 
Alright then. I need to go make some sale pitches in, on the street today. It's hard being a door-to-door -door salesperson. I get rejected all the time. It breaks my heart, but unfortunately, I don't have insurance for that. Yeah. I have work tomorrow, too. I want some time off. If I can get some time off, I, I go to that cafe and leaves. Assuming it was open, I mean, she was here right now. So... That's still today, isn't it, when she was at the graveyard? I, I just need to go double-check around the outside places after I'm done here as well. It's been a while since the dispute with Calvin started, but I feel like a lot of people are looking forward to a showdown with them. They say that there's no way the Empire could lose. That uh, would crush them. That we would crush them. I wonder when public sentiment changed to this. And I have a lot of people looking forward to the showdown. Nope, second one. Well, I guess I cook like myself. Can't do anything about it. Oh well, no, a D! Lovely. All right, Thomas, what's going on? What have you got there? Oh, of course. Mm. Ah, this taste makes me so nostalgic. Oh, if I recall correctly, the chiefs... Chiefs, yep. Chef's parents are the ones who, who work at Thor's main campus. <laughs> no wonder. Oh, you're that weirdo scholar we saved yesterday. Instructor Thomas, what brings you here? Oh, I'm just here to meet someone. Who can wait on an empty stomach? I was hoping I'm able to play the role of mediator well. Is this the same person said he was going to meet yesterday? I'm not sure. Well, no need to bother him now. Let's be off. We already know who we met. We do, anyway. Off on your special ops missions, then. Best of luck. Green, let's have ourselves another chat sometime soon. Yeah, sure thing. The feeling the church is starting to take action. Yeah, some... Again... It's stuff is brewing. It's it's getting to a a certain point. You can feel it. During the Civil War, I had some terrible hallucinations. Uh, it was probably the drugs I had taken. Uh, the royal palace turned into a terrible nightmare. Casual, casual. Yes, it was the worst feeling ever. That's when my back started hurting. Jeez, it still hasn't got any better. Okay. What was that thing I saw? Considering my back is still hurting, maybe it wasn't a dream. I don't know anymore. I like that some people like think it's a dream or mirage and stuff. Like, no, that happened. Some braces came by this morning. Oh, I was seeing things. Guess they must be active again. Maybe sudden, but it's great news nonetheless. Just thinking about getting to meet those people again is enough to make me emotional. I was pretty familiar with a few of the braces. How many years has it been? I'm starting to feel emotional just thinking that they might be coming here again. Hmm. There you go. I still don't like the idea of contact lenses going around, it's like, bleh, bleh. Right, so, picture. Lap and do and go, this is it. Hello, I have a delivery for you. Oh, that's the painting I ordered. I'm glad it's finally here, I was worried because it was taking so long. This is a masterpiece from when North Ambria was a principality. After the principality disbanded, this place went missing, place, piece, went missing. Which is why I paid a hefty price to purchase it. I see. Heard that the former principality was known for its numerous masterpieces. Jeez, who cares? We delivered it, right? <laughs> yes, thank you. May I ask you something? Sure, what is it? This package was delivered to us. And the Panto pulled out a similar looking package. This is... It's a, its shape suggests that it is a painting. Yes, this was sent to me instead. I figured it was some sort of mistake. I tried sending it back out myself, but the label was torn off. One misfortune solved, and another one appears. Hmm. Are there any clues? Hmm? Oh, hey. Hey. Hello? Haven't seen you in a while. Ah, you're Zet. Uh, do you know each other? She works at a shipping company I helped out once. <laughs> Looks like you're hard at work, huh? You seem like you're in a bit of a pinch. Is everything okay? Yeah. Well, actually. Reen explained the situation to Josette. It could be Josette. Someone please do let me know on that. <laughs> Sounds like quite a hassle, because I, ca I can't remember how to pronounce her name. No shipping labels are prone to breaking. 
and you cause me problems all the time. You think they'd update them then? That wrapping paper. It's the same one the Antique Art Dealers Association likes to use. Antique Art Dealers Association? Yeah, they deal in antique art. They use a special material for their packaging that protects the contents better. I have a few stores in Heimdall, but I think Lucian in the Lycett District is the most famous. I want to think of it, I don't they change their paintings every month? <laughs> then I'd say the probability is high. Thank you. We'll go check out with them. Yep. Great. If something happens, please contact Capua Delivery Service. You might be able to help. Might. Are you wandering around now? Are you sitting down next to Thomas for anything? Don't think so. I think she just disappeared at that point, didn't she? She speaks to him again, though. The Antique Art Dealers Association, hmm? I've heard of it before. Hmm, I should ask if they have any good products next time. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, we didn't come here to introduce you to them. Ted Lucian Art Cafe in the Laker District, correct? <laughs> I'll contact them soon, then. Alright, then. Alright, so let's head out of here, because I believe we're done in here, aren't we? Yes. Right, so. So I want to speak to the little boy who's selling newspapers once again, because his dialogue should have changed, because we found the Leo of a little boy, didn't we? Sales in Heimdall have been great, but the ridiculous rent here nearly cancels it out. When I crunch the numbers and in two years, I'll finally have saved it up enough of monies. Enough to buy my very own store. Oh, well, good luck. Until then, I've got to work hard and learn the ropes. It just sucks, but it's a great learning experience. Two more years of this, and then I can open my own store. Fire it up. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Alright, okay, so... Is it just this left? Seems it, doesn't it? And then we head off to Laika. After everything that happened yesterday, the military came here and told us not to talk about the listening devices. Those devices... They must have been set up, set by... <gasps> Political relations are strained enough as it is. I did a... <gasps> rather than a... <sighs> I'm starting to get nervous. Has to be that country. I don't even have to say it. I'm starting to get nervous, plus... Vivi stepped out. I mean, you don't want to be careful of this... This ball of petunias here. They seem to be the spy. Oh, Vivi, I sent her out to get interviews for the summer festival. She's always talking about how she's gonna net us the next huge scoop. I'm gonna need to at least bring in one or two small ones in the meantime. The current political situation is intriguing, but I'm not allowed to pursue it. At any rate, just need to do whatever work we can. What happened yesterday, things seem really flower at fishy. But now's not the time to get nosy. At any rate, just need to do whatever work we can. Alright then, we'll try going up again. We shouldn't enter without permission. Alright, Reen, alright, no copies of Woo Baby around. Right, so let's 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 go out onto the highways, just make sure we're done here. We're done done in a field exercise camp, aren't we? Like there should be no one around, so let's go to the entrance there. So I just, I'll just double check with stuff. You know, I like to be careful these days. See? Failure is not an option. We must remain vigilant as ever. You can rest assured our efficiency will be second to none in our sweep of Heimdall. The Heimdall military police will fulfill its duty. Alright. Any of a squad will pale and get present to how swiftly we will patrol the surface. We'll leave what lies ahead beneath to you. Where did I get ahead from? Well, lies ahead, only one way to find out. What the? Why is security so uptight now? It wasn't this strict last night? I, I wonder why. Why has this happened? Okay, any dots around? Don't see any dots. Right, so let's just check the cemetery. I think we started there, didn't we? So it's like it should be fine. Oh, yes. Of course, we started here. Oh, another tour. What happened? I thought we started here. I don't know. Sometimes I'll come here when I feel a bit lonely. Certainly didn't expect to run into all of you here. Some of our plans in the city, so I'm going to stay here until tomorrow. Look forward to seeing all you again sometime. My bakery leaves is 
when my fiancé and I promised to start together. You're all welcome to visit whenever you'd like. I'm sure we did this somewhere, but... Such sacrilege. I don't care who you are or where you're from, you don't disrespect the dead. I'm no mood to talk now, Scram. See, I've heard enough about that. Redhead kid has always been selfish. Now he struts around, acting too big for his britches. Grumble. I don't like that one bit. Maybe they changed when I went to speak to Scarecrow. Possible. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe. It just feels weird, because... Stuff's back. I don't know. Well, the sad of things, you guys had a lot of fun at your party yesterday. Glad to hear. The way things are going down in the tubes, we're really going to need some of that Class 7 assistance. Uh, of course. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. Goodbye, students. Good luck. As much of an annoying bastard as ever. This all seems the same. They had a good luck. I, it, it, it... Why is it happening again? Why is it blue? Why is the, the top blue? You said this last time. And that. I don't know why, but Grandpa told me to stay here. He said it was dangerous for me to go out alone. Um, I want to help him out, but I guess I'll just get in his way. He told me it was dangerous to go alone. Take this. I, I guess it's pretty serious. Get in his way. I've definitely done this stuff. Hello, you can leave the security here to us. Like, why, 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 why is it reset? Why? Hmm. Like that little check mark that I have going on with, like the the. the the blue talk is now affecting that. That's not good. I don't like that. It throws me off. I think it's like if I, I wanted an improvement in future in the series, like like a, a feasible. Like I've got all these different ideas of what they could do for the games that are spread throughout this Let's Play. Being like, oh, it'd be cool if they did this, cool if they did that. One actual one I think is feasible for them to do based on their budget, size, development team, etc., etc., etc. Is make it so there is like a checkbox above their head constantly for all the dialogue. So like, once you're done with all the dialogue, that does go great, that talk box goes great, then that happens. Just change it to that, and then I'm happy, because then I know I've completed, and I can just do little checks, and be like, okay, I'm done here, that sort of thing. Like, that's what I'd want. It, it's, it's not beyond realms of possibility. Oh, that's the new guy over there, Michael. He's too stiff. Oh man, I can't watch this. It's a good thing I came over to help. He's known as the biggest scary cat among all of the years, Rockies. If worse comes to worse, I'll need to take care of everything on my own. Oh dear. Ah, uh, Martial Law, really? Oh, oh if I found the spies before evening, sure. Only if they try passing through, that is. Now that I think of it, I found this book yesterday. We I mean, asked it would... It, it would be kept in the lost and found, but no one has yet to claim it. Today is the last day we'll be able to hold it. Would you like to take it? Oh. So I'll take it then. Oh, well, not bad. At this rate, I'm not sure what to say to the citizens. <laughs> Apparently. No suspicious people are getting through on my watch. When you be like, hoorah, but, you know, it's like, hoorah. It's finally time to depart. I'll explore the whole world. Yes. Woof. Woof. Oh, yes, I agree. I agree, woof. Wolf indeed. So we're done. Yep. Right, so we don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. So that's the roads done. Okay, so to the Lyca district. Oh, straight into the cafe. There we go. Stupid chair. Pardon me. Could I ask you something? Oh, sure. Ask away. They explained the situation to Nancy, and asked her to check the package. Ah, that's right. We ordered this so we could put together an exhibit next month. Phew, I was really worried. Didn't want to resort to putting this on exhibit. Huh? What'd you say? I'm that package behind the counter. Oh, another one? Yes, I think this was delivered here by mistake. But half of the label has been ripped off. Again. How flimsy are those damn labels? Yeah, they need replacing. Oh, um, my apologies. Oh no, this isn't your fault. We'll be... We'll do something about it. Kurt, can you check the package for clues? Indeed. It certainly contains a painting. The label is torn, but part of it is still le legible. Kids again. That's all I can read. Kids again. That looks familiar. 
Let's see if we can find it. Sorry, and thank you. Nothing else? Only part of the label is intact. I have no idea what it could be. Shearing Company seems to be busy. I, I can't get a hold of them. Sorry, and thank you. Oh no. Don't let it bother you too much. A little bit. Let's shop. Let's look for a shop with that name. That's different. That was different. Apparently. It's like, wh what? Where's the quest? Precious cargo. Shell's gen. Like there, it's like it was different to what they said then. There's, there's no shop. Uh, uh. Herschel's general store. Here we are. Oh, hey there, what's up? This may seem an odd question, but. Kurt explained the situation to Fred and had him look at the inside of the package. Is this one of my father in law's sketches? I mean, this is from Instructor Toa's grandfather. He wrote up a lot of notes and documents over the course of his life. This is probably one of the sketches he made while stargazing. A friend of his will sometimes come across these and send them to us. Yes, he had quite a few acquaintances. So it was a memento of Toa's grandfather. What a small world. In any event, it seems we've closed the book on this mystery. <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, while you're here, though, could I ask you something? Hold on just a sec. Another wrong delivery? I'm not sure, actually. I tried to wrap my head around this all morning, but I figured it'd probably be best if you just had a look at it. Fred placed a luxuriously wrapped package on the counter. Wow. This is far more extravagant than any of the other packages. It's an Eastern style wrapping. It says inspection not required in the corner. Inspection not required. Seems strange. Right, that's what I thought. It's a bomb. I thought it might have been something I'd ordered, so I checked what's inside. It was this. Ah! Wait, what? That's so different from what I was expecting. It was like I got whiplash. Do you have any idea what's going on, Instructor? No clue, honestly. But it's usually only international packages that require inspections. So it specifically mentions that an inspection isn't required. It was an international package meant for someone, or somewhere, with diplomatic immunity. I had the same thought. Eastern style wrapping and diplomatic immunity. <gasps> Could it be? Yes. No use standing around here yapping about it. We just have to head there ourselves. The Calvardian Embassy. Sorry to pin this all on you guys. Good luck. Ah, oh, it's lovely. I have a ton of questions, but anyway, it looks like this is supposed to go to the Calvardian Embassy. Sorry to burge you with this, but good luck. Can't just let this travesty continue. Yeah, let's go to the Calvardian Embassy. Okay. That's not... <laughs> I was like, oh yes, Calvar... Oh no, wait. Not the right one. Now loading. Loading has commenced. Yes. Yes, indeed. Right. Here we go, then. And there are no guards today. But considering the situation, that seems stupid. It would be a surprise if it were closed for the time being. Hmm? Huh? So what, we went on this wild goose chase for nothing? But we came so far. Excuse me! Anyone home? Hey, we got a delivery! <laughs> I like the little run that is everything okay? Guys, go, 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 go! Shh, keep it down! What do you think you're doing? In different difficult times right now. Please don't make a scene. Oh, so sorry about that. So it's good you heard us. We actually have a delivery for someone at the embassy. A, a delivery? That's preposterous. You may not know this, but the ambassador was summoned back to Calvert, so there couldn't be any deliveries. It's gonna be for you, mate. Mm -hmm. That wrapping. So you do recognize it. Well, uh, my wife is actually a painter, you see. She uses that fabric to wrap her finished works. In all my time here, she's never sent me anything before. 
And again, I'm the one who hasn't been home in two years. <laughs> I'm sure she's fed up with me. Now I see. That means this painting must be. What do you mean? <laughs> I believe it's best if you see for yourself. Mm, if you say so. The secretary opened the package and removed the painting. Aww. This is just my guess, but is it your daughter who drew this? Yes. She's about three years old now. My wife, she keeps asking me to come home to see her. Only just once. Amia, she's gotten so big. She just wanted to show you how much your daughter has grown. Getting moved to tears here. What a lovely family. As it stands, diplomatic relations with Calvert have been virtually severed. Shim the reason he remains at his post is so the Calvardian citizens here aren't abandoned. Sure that if they return to their homeland, they'll never be allowed to come back. That's why he hasn't been home in two years. Thank you. All of you. I mean it. No need. This was merely our duty. <laughs> More like our pain in the ass. Not that I'm one to complain. <laughs> Such refreshing honesty, Ash. Due to circumstances, there's not much we can say here. So all I say for now is, let's all do what we can, to the best of our ability. Yes, you're right. One day, when I have the chance, I'll be sure to thank you properly. I look forward to seeing you then. Us too. That is lovely. It's just, it, oh, that was just a nice, lovely little scene. Like, hum, like similar to what, I'd say, like, obviously not on the same scale, but sort of similar to what they did with the crossbell arc in Cold Steel 2. Just that idea of, like, it just gives you that different perspective, humanizes, it humanizes Calvert a bit. It just, it's like, at the moment, it's like, oh, it's Hercules, the spies are infiltrating the, the enemy at the gates. Like, nope, nope. Like, here you can see people who are still very much Calvardians rather than people who want to live here, etc. It's like, it, it humanizes them. It humanizes them, and it's nice. It's a nice little touch. But, I think it's probably best, because I don't know how long it's going to be, that we end this part here. Short part, I know, but you know how these things some ha sometimes happen. And in the next part, we'll go into St. Astria, and then carry on with the main story. So, we shall see you then. Ta-ta, for now.